So here we are at Richmond and Spadina. And it's on Thursday evening of Easter weekend. This is a Holy Thursday. Um, so it's March 28th, 2024. And we're here at the intersection because right here at 401 Richmond is this um, so like a, a building with a lot of art galleries and independent galleries particularly uh, most contemporary art but all kinds of stuff gets shown here and we're here for two openings of two shows one is Delali Cole is part of a group show brother I follow I'm sure probably some of the other artists I also appreciate or maybe even realize I follow and then Jack Gray who also has a show tonight and um Tonight. So there's Jack Reeves and uh, telling him where to go. And I think it's the lower level. So, anyway, so now we're trying to find where we're going. Okay, so all kinds of stuff happens in here. So, looking for Gallery 44. Do you know where Gallery 44 is? Gallery 44? Gallery 44, yeah. No? I have no idea. Check downstairs maybe. Okay, I will. Thank you. Hello again. You know where you're going? Uh, yeah. Gallery 44. Is it downstairs or? Downstairs. Is it this way? Yeah. Okay, yeah. great. see more of your work popping up everywhere on those walls yes, yes, all over the city yes, between you and elixir you're like running things I'm gonna have to okay. start up here. Did you go downstairs already? Yeah, I've passed by. Yeah. And you're going to other places as well tonight? Well, I really came to this because a bunch of my students are in here. Ah, nice. So, yeah. Good. I come support. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> you're doing well? Not bad, not bad. <laughs> I love the 3D effect thing going on here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yes, I do. Very mature one. Yeah. 
this is what I know really well. I'm fascinated by this one. So good. How are you doing? Oh, man. How are you doing? I was actually looking at a, a video I did of you um, in a residency at Nia the other day. Yeah. Uh, almost 15 minutes. Huh? 2018. Yeah. yeah. It's great. I'm actually going to hand it over to them. Because it's great. You all talk really beautifully about your work. Nice. Yeah. You and Desmond and forget the other brother's name. What's in it? Ghanaian. I know. I'll find out. It's okay. No worries. Don't stress. But anyway, it was just Desmond, Chantal, and Solana. And there's another guy, Canadian guy, mas masculinity. He was doing fabric, textile. Maybe he was in Nia, but he wasn't on the residency. Oh, okay. So All right. Four of us. There's four of you. Yeah, four okay. Of us. Okay. Cool. Well, good to see you again as well. Yeah. We now we keep bumping each other everywhere. Yeah. Art, art brings us together. Yes. yes. Anyway. How are you doing though? Ah, uh, things are good. Things are good. Hello. Hi. Ooh, this is great. Flowers. I think you're one of the artists. What's your name? Juliana. Beautiful. And what's it mean for you to be in the show? What do you mean? What does it mean for you to be in the show, like doing your work here? Oh, I'm so happy. Yeah. 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 yeah and what is your work? Can you tell me what your work is? Yeah, it's the 
the video installation. Yeah, Tell me about that piece. I was just watching, and you can just barely hear it because of the noise. But so the images is uh, my mom and I, um, and then the sound piece is my grandma retelling stories about sound system in Kingston, Jamaica. In where? In Jamaica. In Jamaica. Yeah, okay, yeah. sound systems, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you can see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're everywhere. Yeah. I feel a yardy, so I know, right? <laughs> Great, great. Anyway, nice to meet you. Do you have any other pieces or just that this one here? Just that and then we have our Oh, that's, oh, oh, I'm gonna the boxes. Okay, I'll go check that out. Thank you. Just picking up people I know. Oh, yeah. Good to see you. <laughs> good, good, good. So basically, Mr. Cole, beautiful work. Thank you, thank you. Love this stuff. So, quick, your pieces. What about you? What do you want to say quickly about them? Like, oh, uh, okay. This, this is a, a little excerpt from my thesis, my thesis project. It's going to be showing at GradX from May first to fifth. Perfect. This goes from now till end of May. So it's sort of like a mini presentation of uh, what's to come, the larger story. The project is called At the Conjuring of Roots, I Wish to Meet Me. And it's about the weight of self, and it considers um, personal history as a constructed archive, making masquerade costumes from old family clothing, mixing with natural resources, and creating um, garments that represent that weight of self. So that's, uh, that's what it's about. Won't you get more of your time, because you got your, your public is here. <laughs> Good to see you, man. Good to, Good to you support too. you. Beautiful Thank work, always. Thank you. Thank you. Always. Appreciate always. It. I see flowers. You're one of the artists, right? Huh? Are you one of the artists in the show? I'm, I'm right there. <laughs> That's you. Oh, you're in the. I'm in the. Oh, in the yeah. Show. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I see you around at Dove Birth Things. You at yeah. Spencer's show. Spencer's show. Yeah. Yeah. What's your name again? I'm Dominique. Douglas. Nice to meet you. And I know we're fellow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Hey, good to see you. Good to see you again. I'm looking at your face and I'm going, why are you so familiar? familiar. And then I'm thinking, were you at Pride? Dancing at um, either Timmy Regisford or what are the boy's name again? Anyway, at Pride in the garden, one of those things, right? Uh, were you watching Willow Bell? Huh? Yeah. You were, you were dancing. Bell? I have a video of you dancing. That's no, what you're you're me. Yeah. Was it the green 
space? Yes, exactly. I, I you were there in the green space yeah. dancing. Because your face was like, where is he so familiar? And I know, I remember, I think, I don't know him. I don't think I've met him, but he's familiar because I do this videotaping thing and I sometimes I go, well, I've seen that face. So I, I'm glad I came because I was my, well, I know him, like I know him. But you weren't as, you didn't have as much hair somehow. You were a little more clean shaven or something. Anyway. I can't remember. It's, it's okay. Like a long time I'm ago. Douglas. <laughs> Douglas. What's your name? Ewan. U-N. Yes. As E-W-E-N or Y-U-E-N? E-W-A-N. E-W-A-N. It's always a funny way, right? Does that happen to everybody when they hear his yeah. name? They go, oh. I'm just like, yeah, yeah, sure. That's, that's how you do it. <laughs> U-N. Yeah, U-N. 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 Like U-N. Yes. But U-N. spell U-N. E-W-A-N. Yes. All right. It's a weird Scottish thing, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. Like McGregor. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we have to do. I'm like, yeah. That's the easiest way to tell people. You know, yeah. I'm like McGregor, and then everybody will know, right? It's the only you and I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, good to meet you. Thank like, you actually too. meet you. Yes, thank you. What's your name? I'm Darwin. Darwin? Yeah. Talent. Talent? Yeah. T A L I N? No, like, talented, basically. Talent. Yeah, yeah. T L I N. Oh, talented. That's a nice way to. Yeah. Anyway, nice to meet you. Douglas. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Hey, oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Getting... Hello. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Are we Good. filming? <laughs> Don't want to be in the space. In the space, in the space, you know what I mean? Huh? I'm good, how are you? You too, you too. So much art. This is happening up here and then the one downstairs. Did you go downstairs already? Yeah, I need to get down there. <laughs> that one's beautiful as well. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go check it out. You too, you yeah. too. How are you? Good, good to see you. Hi. 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 <laughs> The bar? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I just want to see the art. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, it's okay.
Is that her work? It is. Okay, Take I want to talk picture. to her. Hi, what's Hi, your name? I'm Courtney. Okay, and this is your work, right? <laughs> just watch. Is this a vlog? Sort of, yeah. Okay, me, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, vlog. Uh, um, so, yeah, so yeah. tell me about your work. So, is this your only piece or do you have other pieces no, here? I have four pieces in the show. So, the first one. Um, Inside here? Is, uh, yeah, in there. And then and in then there. This one, that one. And across and there. We have one in the other hallway. Right, great. And um, I don't know what else to say. What, so what's your work about? Like, just quickly, because, you know, we're, um, I don't want to keep you long. I think you what's my work about. Um, I'm thinking through uh, black feminist ecologies. Period. Black feminist and pure ecologies. Right. Yeah. Great. Is that, does that suffice for the vlog? Listen, that's enough. Okay. Right? Period. Another time I'll get you when okay. it's quiet okay. and somewhere you can actually talk. Okay. It through. Sounds good. All right. Okay, what's good your name? Douglas. Douglas. Yes. Were you at Dusty's? Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you for coming. Yes. Yeah. And there was somebody else who was here who said that she's in the show. Was that you? Was it you who had? Was it? Somebody else I know said that she's going to be in the show oh, today. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Yeah. Thank Thank you, thank you. Beautiful, beautiful work. I'm just saying hello. How's it going? You good? Hey, man. And you're a star in the, in the pictures. I've seen you. Yeah, yeah. Even he came into the yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, decked out, watching it with, with glasses. Glasses and a mask, though. Yeah, everyone, like, I think people knew him so they weren't, like, sketch. I was like, if I didn't know that guy, I'd be like, <laughs> just this, but you can tell you're an artist. It just thought it was, like, this, this is a ski mask. And then, but, like, this is my right? Like, it comes in, he does it once on top, bounces, and then comes back in, and I'm like, oh, it's a to come back up. I hope there's more. Oh wow. This is like a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
always. Like, he was like, nah. So, you respect mom. Yes. 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 Yes.
<laughs> oh, that's not going away, but this would be a great space. Somebody, to, um, anybody, artists looking for a space? Oh, this is probably like a um, oh shipping and receiving. Yeah. So no, nothing can happen here. So. Very cool. All right. I'm gonna go downstairs. And check out what they've got down there. Thing is going on, going on, going on, going on. It's a bit calmer. That is. I'm like, yeah, 
Remember me? <laughs> anyway, what's your names? Keisha. Keisha. Austin. Huh? Austin. Nice to meet you again. And Lincoln. I met you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're well. Oh, yeah, I am. I'm trying. I'm trying. I love the hair. Huh? Oh, yeah, he's quietly in a conversation. He's deep in conversation. How are you doing, man? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. How are you? Not bad, not bad. Not too bad, not too bad. How are you doing? Nice to see you. <laughs> David Lewis here. Oh, otherwise known as DLP. DLP. Yes. That's fabulous as the art. No, 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 you are the art. Look at all this, look at all this. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. Huh? In honor of Paula. Paula. Yeah. Is that, why, why would you say that? Why? Oh, no, she was a really close friend. So right. this is what we wore to her memorial. Oh. So in Nigeria, we usually do like actual and So all her friends, we just did, this is her logo, Paula Francis. That's fantastic. Yeah. Thank so you for that. For I like memorial. catching that on my ear, right? Yes, she has to be honored. She yeah, be and I saw the news about her, you know, death and yeah. passing. And then he um, did this show yeah. with, featuring yeah. Paula, right? It was, it was just so sad. It's, it must be heart, still heartbreaking for you right yeah. wow well it's nice to have these kinds of memories to yeah. kind of hold her alive yeah. in our you know our spirit and our like mem memory and our hearts right yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah what's your name mary mary i'm douglas nice to meet you douglas. and you're mophie mophie yes. douglas nice, nice to meet you, you. Yeah. Well, let me get a close it's brilliant thank you for sharing that with me thank you of course <laughs> huh? That's how I am too. I'm like, if I'm just gonna like be on my house about it, I'm not gonna try to get all this color. Especially because spring yeah. and yeah. summer. You know, the rest of us are saying dark because we're still <laughs> trying to recover from winter. Yeah, exactly. But you are just saying, I'm boldly going. Well, that's because I don't stay here in the winter. I don't have any winter gear. Where you go? Everywhere. Nigeria, Costa Rica, wherever there's no snow. I'm there. This is like my only shoe that's supposed to And then when the, when the like, snow is there, you, you, you call your friends and say, is it, is it over? No, Can I come back now? Genuinely, and then, you know, I stay but, at home. I hide but, the but were you shot the other day by the little winter snow we had? No, I almost died. <laughs> The first time I was going to go grocery shopping because I Uber eat every day. I showered, I had my list, and I opened the window. And it was when we had that huge snowstorm oh, last Friday. I said, My sister, no, I said, You know what? I did my first time Uber Eats. <laughs> and my first time, like, four bottles of champagne. <laughs> oh, I'm just drink, you know. Yeah. Well, thank you for bringing the color to, to, with us. What's your name? Elizabeth. Elizabeth nice Douglas. Tyler. Tyler Douglas. Tyron. 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 Yes. I was hearing Tyler, Tyra, Tyron. <laughs> yeah. Nice to meet you all. Enjoy. <laughs>
This is full of incredible, incredible. I love it. Keep doing it. <laughs> 
Maquillage, right? What makeup? Maquillage. Oh, no maquillage. I don't know your mouth. I don't know your mouth. <laughs> no, this is how you get, wake up. This is the natural, like. how you came out of the womb. These are my natural eyelids. I've been living. I feel like I've seen you filming around before. Of course you have. Are you a documentarian? Kind of. You gotta do, you gotta work. <laughs> oh my God. All right, sorry, I just wanna get behind you. <laughs> I just document what culture is happening oh, okay. and post it. Probably because I have family members who are shut in and can't go out. Started that way. And they, I would tell them and they'd say, oh, and so I thought, oh, I could document and share with them. Okay. And then a lot of other people watch them and love them and yeah. follow me. Okay, because you got my friends. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'll post it. B I S R I A. Yeah, A. Perfect. Okay. I'll Israel. look it up later. Yeah. And my Instagram is global, C-L-O, G-L-O. Because sometimes I post clips, okay. like the little conversation. I had a conversation with every artist, a little short one. So I might post clips like that and tag you. All right. Right? Keep an eye out. Keep an eye out. I enjoy you too. What's your name? Miranda. Miranda. Yeah. Nice to meet Douglas. Nice to meet you. But quickly, short, short, like, you know, not no big long extenses. So tell me about the show, the show. Yeah, yeah, so this show, uh, putting ourselves together, but originally it was titled Uncommon Beauty. It's a part of a docu-series featuring trans women, uh, binary folks, and drag queens in Lagos, Nigeria. Um, basically, the documentary follows their lives, uh, follows who they are, their stories, some of the hardships and struggles that they face of being who they are. But a lot of the joy pieces of being who they are and being brave enough to be who they are. And so uh, Fola, who is this picture right here. Yeah, I know what Fola's story, yeah. yeah. She, she passed yeah. not too long ago, yeah. which really sparked um, a sense of urgency for me to show these works and show all these lovely people that I got a chance to meet. Yeah. I'm honored that they allowed me to take their photos because I did not know who they were and they did not know who I was, but they trusted me mm -hmm. to document their lives in a form of pictures. Mm -hmm. 
So it's here today uh, to give everyone a chance to get a little snippet of these folks who I got a chance to document and hopes that when the docu-series comes out, that you guys all check it out. It's really interesting yeah. because I did a workshop just recently yeah. where a lot of people were talking about oh, the tragedy of trans people who regret transitioning and blah, blah, blah. And I had to keep pushing back against it to say, actually, in any part of life, people can, oh, is it the right thing for me? Yeah. But I, I want to make a message that overwhelmingly most trans people are happy yeah. it's not tragedy it's yeah. not tragic it's not right? but when people see our lives as tragic yeah it shapes a narrative for us that we never consented to exactly and then there's also the real piece that yes there are people sometimes that do regret it exactly and it's not i, I you know i don't want to speak for anybody right but for myself i have had periods of regretting mm. maybe not so much regretting but feeling immense intensity of the work and the labor it takes to be who I am. Yeah. However, there is those many joy pieces that I can't see my life any other way. Right. And I wouldn't have been as happy in the body that I was in comparison to who I am today. So I'm proud. I'm proud to be trans. I'm happy that I can finally say it out loud. Yeah. And everyone that I documented here is also proud and brave enough to be who we are. Yeah. And we need more people yeah. to people like that that we get to see. Because we hear about it, we know about it, but we don't often get to see faces. Unless there are people in our spaces and people that we know. Right. But the, all these folks are from Lagos. And some of them, if not all, have never been to Canada, to Toronto. Yeah. So to be able to see them here, I'm taking, I'm going around right now taking photos of everyone so I can share. There's a lot of other people who are part of the series that didn't get shown tonight. Right. But I'm hoping as we continue, we can get all these photos out. Everyone gets their time, we can be around, we can be seen and just be around. And so I'm hoping that I can extend this work outside. And, and two yeah. last questions. So, and for you, living in like in Nigeria, right? Which has a certain intense culture. Oh, yeah. Like Jamaica has an intense it's culture. That, yeah. What's that like? Do you see any sort of things for you in terms of messaging or thoughts you're having around? I'm in this place, like the other home place yeah. in Canada, right? Yeah, it, it was scary. Yeah? It was scary, I'm not gonna lie. Like when I first initially got asked, I was scared. More so about my safety as a trans person. Right. What it looks like going to a Nigerian airport as a trans man. Right. What does it look for my documents and all these pieces. Um, and I was scared. But you know, when I got to the airport, everyone was there welcoming. The team was there welcoming. But then it wasn't until I got a chance to meet everyone where I felt like there was no reason for me to be scared. Right. right. If, you know, and I think it was an eye opener too of how scared I was to be myself here in Canada. And then awakening, I'm going to Nigeria and seeing everyone just living their life to the fullest. Right. But also sharing experiences, stories of changing who they look and how they look to then go out. Yeah. And then hearing stories of like, yeah, I'm not doing that anymore. I don't right. want to. It's exhausting. I just want to be right, myself. Right, right. That instilled a level of bravery that I feel like I couldn't have had by not getting that experience. And I was just saying a little bit over there that like there was a point where I almost felt like about being the person selected to take these photos, right? Someone from Toronto, someone that's seeing a little bit more privilege, a little bit more freedom in that space, and being in this space and what that actually looks like. And I, I don't know, I, I feel like I was there to learn. I was there to be curious. I wasn't there with an the expertise of I know it all and I have more. I was there as almost like a student, willing to learn from these experiences and then also willing to share experiences myself. And a lot of them didn't even know that I was trans as well. So it was just such a awakening for people to even be like, oh wow, he's a trans guy? Right. Okay. Like, right. And there was like a community sense that yeah. I was able to build community outside of Toronto with folks who have different lived experiences, even though we shared similarities of things that we experienced. So I'm honored to have been selected here. I'm happy to be a, be a part of the team. Uh, the creative director, Uche, who none of this would have been possible without him as well. Right. And if it wasn't for him coming on that project too, none of these photos would have been as beautiful and as... Because he lives in Nigeria, he knows the experience, and he was able to pull that out and convey that as well. And so we kind of mixed all of our experiences together to make these photos, and I give the credit out to all these wonderful people. So it's a real partnership, collaboration, yeah. allyship, yeah. with each solidarity, yeah. with each yeah. other, and as you said, Cross learning, yeah. benefiting, encouraging, yeah. and it shows that I'm talking about they're stunning, they're yeah. beautiful. They're beautiful, and I, yeah. like I said, I'm just a documentarian. I document work. Yeah. I document what I see. 
I don't do anything to these photos. I take them as they are. I take people as they are. I don't like to stage people. I don't like to say, hey, do X, Y, and Z. People are able to be free and be who they are and be able to embody everything they were. And I feel like every photo here, I was able to embody parts of who they are. I will never be able to get the full scope yeah, of absolutely. the being, yeah. but I was able to capture parts of who they are and how they want to be represented. And I'm happy to bring it to Toronto. And that's why I'm saying that yeah. about beautiful. So beautiful means about pretty, that's not even a look, but there's an energy and a spirit that oh. you're capturing all of them. Yeah. That's stunning. So last question is, um, so you've always been working on masculinity. Yeah. This yeah. journey, has it made you think about, have you ever yeah. about that idea, that whole kind of journey as well? Yeah, it had me think about it. It had me think about it for sure. And I think uh, when I got asked to do the work as well, it was different. Right. So when I was in the interview initially, I was like, hey, this is what I usually take photos of. This is my work. I'm not too sure how I'm gonna convey what you want me to convey in these photos with the scope of work that I usually do. Right, right. But I went there, I told them I wanna go there with an open mind, I wanna try something different. This will be different, it will be new. And even asking Ben to show them, I was hesitant and nervous because everyone here who have seen my work know it in a specific light. Right. And it was very nerve wracking to show something different. Um, but they're beautiful. Yeah. They're beautiful. I love them. It's a different scope to work, but I see myself as a fluid person. Uh, I don't know where my work will go or what it will look like moving forward. Right. I will always be doing masculinity work. I will always be wanting to work with black men and documenting black men. But if there is an opportunity that arises, I will definitely document everyone if I could. If and I, I, could, right? and I even think that your work, even this to me, is still your exploration with this idea of gender and identity yeah. and all of it anyway. Right? Yeah, so. it's, it's always about identity. I think yeah. foremost, uh, firstly, yes, masculinity, secondary vulnerability, all that stuff, but it is about identity yeah. and the freedom to be ourselves and the bravery that it takes to be ourselves uh, despite like the social constructs, despite how people may view us or want to view us, yeah. right? And this journey began as me being a trans, trans person, right. of being seen as this binary thinking of what a black man should look like. And I wanted to challenge that. I wanted to challenge that. I wanted to find other guys like me who were not wanting to be a part of these boxes, but wanted to shape what it looks like for them and what it looks like to own our own narratives, right. what it looks like to own our own st uh, stories, what it looks like to own our own beings even when people are telling us not to. And that's like the major piece of the work. And I think even though the subjects are different here, the identity piece, the bravery piece, the vulnerability of sharing this moment with me, because this was a moment, right? There's thousands of pictures that I took of everyone. And there are, like I said, there's some people that weren't here on this wall that are part of it. I took thousands, but I also got a chance to actually sit down before I took the photos to get to know who you are and what are things that make you you. Right. and just hearing those stories and I've cried hearing the stories and it reminded me of moments where I felt alone where I felt like it, it was my own experience that I was having and no one else would know and going here even talking to other people I was like oh wow I'm not alone and there are these shared similarities that we have despite the differences so the core root is identity the core root is being ourselves and the bravery that it takes to do so despite the world hating us for doing so and you know you know like from the LGBTQ to us Plus community, like we know exactly what that looks like. You know, like for me, in my time of being a trans guy, like I'm 10 years, 11 years into transition. And when I first started, I didn't know any trans guys. There was a different way of being able to be who I was in comparison to now. And so, yeah, it's like, you know, you see what it looks like. There's, there's a lot more joy and a lot more happiness that Absolutely. comes when you get to be yourself despite all these things that are happening. I don't know what I would have looked like if I just stopped being who I was and I conformed to things that people told me to. I just wouldn't be happy. So patience, timing is everything. Like this work was done in 2022. 20, and it's showing now and I hope that we can continue showing these faces. And when the docuseries come out, it's gonna change these photos and the meaning of it as well because it'll give you a more in-depth layer of how these photos came to be and why they're so important. And around when are we expecting to document? Yeah. It is time. See, yeah, it I'm hoping time. it comes out in like two years, but yeah. when it's time, but when it when it's time to come out, I think it'll be right. Yeah. I think it'll be good. And we're seeing a lot of changes. I'm seeing a little bit of changes. Hearing 
changes in Lagos and people are fighting back. Right, right. In Jamaica, yeah. people are fighting back. Yes. Jamaica, you know, that's a place that I also want to go to and see what it looks like because I have my own perspectives. Right. From my family being Jamaican, right, and what it looks like to be queer in Jamaica. But I heard the changes are yeah. huge. Happening. And so I want to go back and see it for myself. As being part of there, I think it's something that I've been longing for to go back to where I'm from and seeing how these things change. And there's a lot more a fear there, but like, I mean, what's life if you don't take risks, right? Yes, so, yeah. Risk? Yeah. And what I say, yeah. risk and, um, oh my god, risk, initiative, and vulnerability, yep. right? Yep. And yep. sometimes surrender. Surrender. Right? Surrender. And it's hard. It's hard. <laughs> and we talked about it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Even when we, I was documenting you, we talked about yeah, what it looks right. like. Yeah, yeah. It is hard. You know, even now that things have changed and things have amplified and things are going in different directions, it still is hard. Yeah. We still are facing a lot of discrimination. Not even on the ground, but even in these policies and even in the things that we do see, there's a lot of little things in there that make it hard for us to be who we are. Right. So I don't, I don't know. I think as we continue showing these works and we continue being ourselves, we just change that. You know, yeah. like I don't know. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Oh my God. Thank you. Powerhouse. I thought it was one question. One. Well, you just well, you just kept answering and answering. Anyway, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Yes. Good seeing you. Yeah, thank you, you for coming out. Let's see. Bye. Thank you so much. For Do's happening. Bam, 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 bam. Beauty. Thank you. Yeah. 
Yes, busy. Executive. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. I see you up and talk and wara rah rah. But people are big you up though. Oh, really? As they should. Rightly so. I'm around. You're good? <laughs> good. I don't know if you, you're gonna have some butter and cheese ice cream. Oh, uh, you know what I'm sitting here talking about? <laughs> <laughs> that seems response to that. Hell no. <laughs> it's a hard no. <laughs> you know what people say? Hmm. I'd like to try it. Like, right Somebody even said, oh, I wonder what the cheese tastes like in that. <laughs> but you know, they have Aki ice cream too. I'm sorry, it's all. I'm confused. I don't know what to do with them. No. I mean, after, on the camera. after what am I doing, Patty? <laughs> anyway, we're going to sit by boys around the corner yeah. for a turn off. Yes. Good to see you. <laughs> Good show. And I got a nice little interview with him, yeah. so I'm happy to also share. Remember, I have a bunch of different things, you know. Yes, I should pass it on to you all because yes, it could be part of your archives. Yes, right? My brother who did the floral photos, who I had to pull stuff yes, down, yes. I still have that whole thing that I kept private, I can send it to you. But, but definitely for this. This one was lovely. What he did. And he connected he did a connection between Nigeria and Jamaica, which would be beautiful oh, for you to please, have. Yes, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. All right. I'm just saying hi. I know we laughed at each yes. other, but. Nice seeing you. Good <laughs> All right, good to see you again. Good to see you, sir. I'm looking for more work from you. When am I going to see more work? Soon? Yeah, you're just about it. Yeah. Oh, you're, oh, you're, work, you're working right now. You, literally, I'm working on it. Leave me alone. I'll let you know. He's on the process. All right. I'm looking forward. I saved the best for last. He gets up again. On he gets up again on Sunday, so I guess I should be happy. Oh, you're right. This is Easter, right? Yeah, but we're yeah. doing this all. Yeah, this is when we kill him, and then we he gets up on Sunday. Yeah. Wow! Wow! Did you go upstairs yet and see the upstairs show yet? No. Yeah, much more busy. Gallery? Yes, um, Gallery 44. Okay. Rama Jama Jama. It was busy earlier. Yeah, no. Some of them were up there. Were came from here. I think it was starting there and then came up stairs. It's like a rotating door. Oh, this is nice. I like the feel of this. Up there's like, I always think of you. You'd be like, you can't, you can't get to the R. We were just buzzy, buzzy. The wife of the curator, I think I just met. Oh, yeah? She said, yeah, my husband has a show oh upstairs. Oh, probably. He said, oh, gosh, I turn off the camera so oh, you can yeah. talk freely. The guy with the dreadlocks was David, you know, David Lewis Pierre's friend. He works for the city. Oh, I, yeah, I can't think of his name right now, but he was just here, right? He was, you know. I just know you. Oh, okay. I, I, I have met you like this before. Like, I just say your name. You know, like, but I. Meet up. Mm -hmm. Project in a couple of years. You know what really gets me? It, the shadows. I love. Oh yes. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Saying how much we like the shadow. So beautiful. Very regal. Yeah. Very regal. What is this top? It's beautiful. Thank you. It's a little, you know, decent, but. Your own design? <laughs> Your own design? No, not my own design. Who's um, it by? My own sharp eye selection. <laughs> <laughs> I know how it do. <laughs> 
Don't make it, but we buy it. I love the cutouts. <laughs> thank you, thank you. It adds a little bit of interest and excitement. Yeah, so the yeah. Especially as this warmer weather comes on us, you exactly. know, you wanna. I'm trying to, you know, speak, spring into existence. It's like you and her, right? Yeah. Because you all have color. Yes. Yeah. So speak, spring into existence. Yeah. <laughs> so that's... Nice music. Is it you who broke up the music? No, it's the guy, right? No. It's oh, yeah, it's your. Streaming. Oh, yeah, that's not your. Oh, that's not your. Barber.